Hello, let, let me give you an update here of, of what I've done so far. Um, what I'd like to show you is the speaker that I have put together. This speaker did not have enough uh, turns on this field coil here because um, I had remeasured it. It was about, um, I think about 1200 uh, ohms for the DC resistance and I really needed it about uh, 1975 ohms so what I did was I included a filter choke that I got on eBay this was a new old stock of a Thor Darson and this was 375 ohms so I put that in series with this fuel coil and I also have it in series with this 500 ohm uh, power resistor so when I measure the DC resistance now of this whole system here it's about 2200 ohms so it's a little bit over the 2000 about the 2000 ohms I needed but I figured that's a good start to start a little higher on the resistance because I'd rather start a little higher than, than too low so what I also did was I mounted this nice new Hammond 125e universal output transformer and I looked up and as far as I could tell the 42 push-pull output it should be about 10,000 ohms for the plate to plate uh, resistance so I uh, connected it up for 10,000 ohms for the for the primary and uh, this speaker was totally reconed with a new voice coil and the voice coil was about 8 ohms so I, I uh, <clears throat> hooked it up accordingly according to what what they had said on their documentation that came with this transformer and you notice I had to mount it sideways which I, I really didn't want to do that but th this transformer is good I used it in my other RCA radio and it has really good sound to it and uh, I had to mount it a little a little sideways on on the speaker here and uh, but uh, you know that's not fortunate I had to do that but it's just what I kind of had to do because uh, the original transformer uh, that came with the radio which I looked in pictures and it had a lot more a lot more height to it and it was shallower than this so but anyway let me continue uh, what I did with the radio here was that I put a temporary power cord on because I have a nice reproduction power cord that I can put on and I, I hooked it up to the to the speaker uh, properly and I had to add another another tang on here that I uh, kind of scarfed from another speaker I did have a speaker I could use and uh, so now it has four mounting tangs on it so I hooked it up accordingly for the push-pull audio and the fuel coil and I power I powered the radio up using my Variac here and I just wanted to update everybody because what happened here was that uh, I had a problem and uh, at about 80 percent uh, this resistor here I had replaced it but this resistor is overheating and uh, and, and this, this goes to like this uh, switch here. This is what they call um, uh, a rotary switch, a wafer switch, I mean. And uh, it goes to the switch, and then it ends up going to these, uh, these coils here. And some sections go to the oscillator coil, and some sections go to the RF coils. And this switch switches out some coils and it switches in some coils and it grounds some coils when they're switched out. So I'm suspecting either something in the switch that isn't right or, uh, or maybe one of the coils has a short in it. I'm not really sure. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to diagnose why, uh, why this resistor is overheating. And I replaced it once already, but it starts overheating at about 80% voltage. 
So that's where I'm slugging it out now. And uh, I spent many hours on, and the, the uh, coils seem okay. So it leads me to believe that there's something in the switch here that's conducting in the wrong fashion, and the current is flowing through this resistor. Because as far as I could tell, there really isn't supposed to be a lot of current on there. So, so that's it. That's that's the update on that, and uh, it's unfortunate. I wanted to, you know, have a, a positive update, but you know, the next update will have to be uh, well, that I found the problem. So I'm getting I'm getting on it now. So so that's about it. So take it easy, folks. Bye.